What's up guys, how's it going? Uh, this is gonna be really, really cool video, hopefully. I So what happened is I'm gonna go... Some of your subscribers probably know that I actually switched from native Titan 10.5 to Hobie Pro Angular 12. So I, tr I traded with one of my friends, you know, and and okay, I actually gonna show you guys the setup here. I know it's kind of like I have it size three months or so. So I have this kayak for like three months. I love it. I'm gonna tell you the pro and the con about it. The pro is I faster for me because I usually fish in river river a lot faster. Uh, the st stay. I don't know, it's not that stable like the native Titan, but a little bit slower. Uh, the Hobie is a lot faster. Also, uh, the power, the drive system is a little bit better. So it get a little bit more torque, you know. It's like a truck with diesel. That's what the Hobie is. Uh, and I like the little H rail thing, little, even though a little pricey, but I kind of like the H rail. Uh, Let's see what else I don't like about it. It's it's not that stable like it used to like the native. Also, it's a little pricey. I mean, if you pay the full price for it, and uh, I don't know actually. I, I you could say I'm a hobby fanboy at the owning native Titan. I mean, for me, I actually I don't really not taking fishing kayak fishing so seriously. So I like the way it go fast because I can. You know, go up the river a lot faster. Trolling, a little bit better. The pedal drive is a lot quieter, a lot quiet, a little bit more powerful. So anyway, I'm sure a lot of people probably do the uh, do the video about it, but this video is gonna be like one take for all. So let me show you the setup I have for the kayaks. I'm not gonna go crazy, do all B-roll about it, but this is the overview so far. Of course, I got a little sticker right there, the shock one. So let me start from the front to the back. Or bow to stern, whatever you call them. So I know I'm out here actually, long pond, my favorite pond. The lily pad's perfect. All the trees changing color. Oh my God, I love it. I'm gonna fly the drone later today because nobody's here. And okay, let's go over this. So not, this is, uh, G2 landing nets, I think I make this off of uh, PVC, not PVC pipe. Uh, I have this canoe paddle, the plastic one. Anyway, I make this. I make three or four of them because uh, for my friends or teammate, what do you call them? I make some for them too. We got all green color because the green color is cheaper than different color. So, hatch, hook us. This is the team that I'm on. And that's my drone. I got, you can see nothing's here. I don't really carry anything much anyway. Because this is not prepared for tournament. If I prepare for tournament, I usually have a food or snacks, water, something in here, you know. So, all right, I'm gonna show you. So in here, you can see, I got 35 amp hour uh, off uh, Earth X. I think this is for my fish fighter. I wanna make little USB port or something like that. To, so it go connect to my GoPro and stuff like that. I have connected by uh, Doesn't really matter how connected but This Hobie 2019 it's got a little bit, you know, it's got all the whole already drill and stuff like that in the front on that side too So anyway, yeah, so nothing else is going on in here. Nothing too crazy Pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, just let me know, but I'm sure you guys probably see it before Nothing too fancy. So this is uh, I have the roto grip here for the landing landing net here. So that's that. And this is for some time I have the camera. I have one right here and I have one right here for the camera. But I don't have the GoPro today with me, so I'm not really trying to record any video. And roto grip over there. Sometimes I put my I have extra my I just put them right there. So sometimes I use my uh, uh, my pedal, or I mean, yeah, my pedal, or sometimes my fishing rod on it. This is my homemade uh, little skewer. 
thing for my uh, my pedal dry. I got a uh, Mirage dry 180 with the turbo fin. I love this dry. I gonna service it because I haven't serviced it in a long time. I mean, I never serviced it. I just put grease on it. So as you can see, I got two rod there and two rod here. So I got four of them. I usually love this because I can put on top of my SUV with it. Or sometimes, you know, windy day, I usually just take it off here. I got nine rod holder here, but I don't really use it today anyway. And over there, it's just my uh, my uh, my matching board. And under, I usually usually just tackle a bunch of tackle box laying around, nothing too crazy. And under here, I actually have today I have a plier and stuff like that. I usually put this on my little box here, but I'm not really too crazy. You know, I don't really need. So the hobby it came with uh, 3600, two 3600 uh, little storage in there, but I don't really use it, so I took it out. So what I did actually, I don't see it. I actually take a, one of those shoes box and I kind of force them in there and zip tie it, and it worked. No, it's oh you can buy the 27 uh, 27 dollar little box that came for the hobby itself. So yeah so that's for that and here is the fish fighter you guys probably see this before on my rest review uh, uh this is garmin 93 93 sv so yeah so i have that mount on two, one and a half a two inch i think it was one and a half brand ball mounts so love this and uh on the other side is the stock pedal holder and slash rod holder right there uh, what else here? That it, I love this actually. I usually put my you know my waste trash or whatever you call them. So far I have in here it's sand color fishing uh, leader. That's what I have here. Sometimes like I usually just put my jig and stuff like that or some plastic trash plastic or trash in here. And more decal. I, I, I like decal. I got a lot of decals here. I've been speaker today because I'm planning to listen to music. So just enjoy the day. And what's that? It's hunting season, by the way. Uh, that's why I'm gonna be a really bit careful out here now. Because I, on my way here, I saw a bunch of truck pull over. Because this is a state park and state land, so people tend to hunt here. I don't know what I hunt for, but don't really care much anyway. This is, I usually have my tackle box here. I, I'm i trying to play around with 237, but what I hate is about this 237 doesn't fit here. So what I have to do, I saw one of the guy video, he actually cut this out actually. He cut, he notched it out all the way back here. That's what I'm, I was trying to do today, but I need the better two for it to do and it takes too long time so I don't want to deal with it I'll deal with it later so yes this is I don't really have anything specifically in here uh, oh I should show you guys that actually what I usually carry so this is my jerk bark a libless uh, shallow and medium this is my this is my favorite box right here this is a my jig my jigs box that I make actually I make a swim jig, uh, this is a flipping jig, or you can call it, you know, stand up jig or something like that from do it mode. And this is my football jig. And this year I, uh, I, I used to use football jig so much and a swim jig, not so much with the stand up thing, stand up jig or brush hawk jig. This is my favorite jig right here. They call it bullet jig, bullet rake jig. For grass like this, you drop this in. It go through the um, it go through the weed a little bit better. My shatter bag. I don't really make one. I make some shatter bag, but I don't really like it so much. The one I make. So and I'm buying using the Z-Man one. And this is my hook. Uh, this is more like how I organize my tackle box. I'm sorry, but this is my a bunch of own one. Uh, the net rig. Yeah, the nut rig jig, I make this, I pour this. I usually, I like making my own lure, if you don't know already. But yeah, this is my job shot. 
wacky rig you know this is my uh, wacky rig with wake and this is my swim jig hat or or you can call it shaky hat you know nothing too crazy and this is my swing hat football jig football hat with wake and stuff and texas rig regular texas hook bwg hook and all kind of hook and little wakes here i got one egg one four and half out i love half out that's what i'm gonna be using today actually i'm gonna play around with those wake i put them on two two by three um two by three uh clear plastic bag the reason i was doing that because it's organized a little bit better also it's uh it worked a little bit nicer for me you know to keep the moisture out a little bit and this is the plastic I have two of them because I actually love using plastic job shot stuff here more swim jig more swim jig and uh, a big paddle tail and stuff like that so I'm gonna be throwing this today and vacuum rig or shingle and shaky head uh, this is called Sakura tail. I don't know, I don't really use this much anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What I use the most is over here. Right there. I make these, that. Uh, I make these lure, I pour that. I make these. I make bandito bug. I caught my big fish on that one last time. And I make these also. I caught fish on that last week. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else. A little plastic, so I'll be making more eventually. Okay, I kind of get to distract anyway. So I think it's called Jack Attack backpack. So I have that. I okay with it, you know. Pretty heavy though for the size of it. It's pretty sturdy. I I kind of like it. Nothing too crazy. I got boondog landing gear. This is the new one because it's got square tubing on it, not the circle one like I used to have before. And this is my uh okay, my friend he used to have a trolling motor. Not trolling motor, he used to have power pole. So we have power pole here and power pole mount for this. And he used power pole mount right here. And if you guys notice before I have a I use this system right here. This is called I make this uh, river stick or you call it call stick up hole anyway so i may kind of make this bracket from a cutting board and i just glue them together epoxy it so it turned out really good i guess it's working for me and i got these eight foot fiberglass rod over here 26 dollars from uh from the uh a farmer's store i believe and i used that with the I use a little hook right here. This is called eyelet or whatever you call them. So yeah, I kind of screw it out, unscrew it, take it out, and that string just running to my little anger trolley here. I don't really use it much, but when I, but when I, I probably not gonna need them today. But it come really handy sometimes. You know, you never know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know what else you guys want to know. I mean, I do have my. Uh, I do bring a lot of uh, bring a lot of uh, rod with me when I go fishing. I usually bring egg rod when I go do tournament and stuff. And there's nothing in here, by the way. I don't have anything here. Eventually, in future, I'm gonna put the battery back here instead of to the front. So yeah, nothing else. I don't know the way I'm out the. Uh, the garment tends to so I don't know you really interesting right there this is the own tensu smile but I do get a side imaging from it because even though it's not low enough but I still do get a side imaging from that I don't know how but yeah so anyway let me know if you guys have any questions so I don't usually do this kind of video often um, because they kind of been busy with photography, you know, little side business and stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Comment, you can have any question. And I, if you have question about uh, dude mo or jig stuff like that, just let me know. Uh, 
I mainly fish what I usually do many fish on Susquehanna River and some local pond around uh, New York sometimes I go up to like Finger Lake a lot so yeah I've been trying to master it but this season I've been doing really bad uh, so I need to improve myself for sure all right see ya